Hey guys, I have a 2003 Ford Expedition XLT and today what we're going to be doing is changing the fuse box. I happen to have an extra one and I will be changing the fuse box that's located right here on this side. And remove the terminal connections or connectors and now that I remove the, this plastic panel and the bottom one too so I have to start with that don't forget to be a little bit gentle because this is made out of plastic Next, I'm going to remove that bolt. I'm going to be using a 11 millimeter. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. 11 millimeter. Deep socket because, as you can see, there's a long bolt. So, all I want to do is loosen it enough where I could use my power tool. Okay, I have my power tool. I'm ready to loosen it up. Okay. That should be it. Done. Next, you want to remove these clips that are at the very top. Uh, this one happens to be a, a, a slide up. All you have to do is just press, your, put your thumb in there, and slide it. You can see by this, you push up and down with your finger, you push it up. That's how you do it. That's how you, this is how you lock it, this how you open it. So yeah. Next, gotta remove this one small one the clip is on the very top it's right here right there where my finger index is touching Pull it see that right there this clip next you have to remove the other one there's like four of them I think or five Okay, there's another one. <sighs> All right, it's another one, two more to go. Okay, one more to go. Okay, that's it. I removed all, let me see. Removed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, next, after I remove that, right here, I'm gonna have to remove that nut. I think that's a 10 millimeter. Okay, I'm using a 10 millimeter deep socket 10 millimeter I just need to loosen it enough so I can use my power tool and remove it okay I'm using my power tool okay so Right here. Now we're ready to remove the fuse box.
and be aware that there is a, a hook from this plastic that sticks into the frame. And these are the hooks that stick into the frame. These right here. These right here. Okay. After you're done, there's going to be these clamps that are in the back. Just take them out. One by one. These clips. Should be four. Now, I'm going to compare them side to side. Okay, I want to make sure that these are all the same. This is going to be the one I'm going to be installing. This is the old one. This is the new one. So, I'm making sure that these all, all these pins are all the same. So, I'm going to remove them right now. I'm going to start transferring some of the fuses that are in this one to the other one. These relays. Is an old relay of mine. I'm gonna transfer it. As you can see, all these pins are the same from the old one to the new one. I transferred all the fuses, I transferred all the relays, all of the other relays, and I'm now I'm ready to install this one. These clips. So I will install, start installing this clip, this one, this, this one. Okay, now that I installed the, the clips from the back, now I can install it on the frame that's right there. Put these hooks. So that's what I'll do. I have to move all, all of these cables out of the way, plus those ones on the top too. Okay, next. Now that I mounted it, I want to start putting in the uh, nut, and I want to put it on this, not too tight, but just as long as uh, it holds the fuse box, so it prevents it from slipping out. Now, I'm going to tie it. Okay, not too tight. Not too tight. that it's holding now I can continue Almost done with the top of the clips. That's 
That's right. Okay, now I gotta slide it out. I'll slide it back in. Got to make sure it clips. All right, all these are good. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now they're good. Now I gotta clip the ones that are right here on the side. Clip these. I'll clip this one too. Now I'm ready to tighten the rest of the the nuts. All right, that's good. I forgot one thing that was to tighten this right here let me loosen it up sorry about that okay now we're ready to install this right here all right now it's ready to go in let me hand tighten it first I mean let me hand screw it in first make sure it goes in right all right now it's ready to tighten Right. And now it's ready to start. Now I'm gonna test start the car right now. See if it see if it's good. Also there's a clip, a cover clip that goes in with it. So I get to install it. it goes in this way. There you go, it's protected, it's covered. Okay, now that I'm ready to, to start the car, I gotta first connect the battery. Okay, battery's connected. Okay, everybody, I just started the car. The car's now in good condition. No check engine, no nothing. Everything's ready to go now. So I installed my new one, my new fuse box. I have my old fuse box right here and uh, that's how you uh, replace a fuse box thank you guys for watching okay bye and that's how you replace a fuse box and thank you all for watching and okay have a nice day